there! This is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Breed by Nirvana. And so if you like this video, by the way, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Also, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that'd be excellent. And if you hit the bell, the little notification bell thing, you'll get notifications every time I upload a video. And, and I'll be doing at least one guitar lesson a week. And so anyway, so back to Breed Nirvana. This is an, an amazing rock and just, let's just rock and roll song. There's three main parts, three main guitar parts. The first one is... The second part is... The bridge is not a really bridge, but a little, a little ending of, the, of the, one of the riffs. And then the, the third part, the third main part is... So those, those are the main parts. Okay, they're all power chords. Or actually, I don't, I'm not doing power chords. I'm doing, I'm doing bar chords. Yeah, so basically, I'm doing all bar chords. Okay, so when I mean bar chords, like for instance, the first, the very, the first, the first chord on that first part. We'll get into the first part now. Is the F sharp, and I'm I'm, I'm using my pointer finger. I'm hitting the second fret, the second fret of the E string, and then I'm putting my ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string, and my pinky on the fourth fret of the D string, and I'm hitting those three for strings only. And that's, that's the bar chord I'm using the whole time. Okay, so I'm not going to keep on telling you how to do that. Okay, so on, on this first part, what you do is you, you start off on the F sharp. And you, go. you hit the F sharp twice. And then you open, you do the same F sharp with the open E. And then you do the F sharp again. So it's one, two, I'm doing all picking down. So again, that's just F, F, open. Sit, keep the other two strings in place, the two fingers in place, and then hit the open E, and then, and then go to the F again. And then you're going to go to the A chord, the A bar chord. But you're going to do a little bend. You're gonna bend the whole bar chord. And you'll be, it's the, you're bending it just a little bit, you're not bending even, even to a whole step. So. And then all you do is you go to the open E, you do the E chord. E, e, but it's, I, I'm only doing the E power chord, I'm not even doing the whole E bar chord. Sorry about the email. I hate when I leave my emails open and, and things come on while I'm doing the guitar lesson. So that's the first part. Pretty easy. But so it's really just a powerful. One. It's a little bit hard to get from there. Like it's not real hard, but it can be a little challenging to get back to that. To get, to get back to that. Oh yeah, at the very beginning though, by the way, he does this. <laughs> All you're doing is I'm, I'm putting my finger over the first, the, the high E, B, and G strings, and then I'm just clicking, I'm picking the E, A, and D string open. Before he goes in the intro, and he does, he does. They they did some kind of mixing where it goes into into it, but essentially that's all it is. Is this? Okay. The second 
hard part is the, the bass and the drums are pretty much doing the same thing, or at least the bass is. But the guitar, instead of doing the, the first part, it goes into this. And all that is, is I'm hitting my, I'm on the D string, the fourth fret of the D string, with my, and then the um, sixth fret of the G string. And I'm doing a, just a power chord. So I, I, I'm sorry, I said I do all bar, bar chords the whole song. This is the one I don't do a bar chord on. I just do a power chord, which is just those two notes. And he goes, you muffle everything else. You muffle everything else except those two strings. You, you even muffle those two strings. And then you hit the, you hit the fourth, fifth fret of the G string, and you bend it a little bit. You go. tends to do little bends, not full bends, but little bends, and they sound really kind of cool. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so that's that. And then, on the, the very last time, you do that four times. Okay. Instead of going to the, you go to the F sharp again, or the F sharp again. Go, go. Okay, so it ends that second part with an F sharp. Go, it says go, go, go. I can't say. All right, so third part is simply bar chords, and you're going from the, the D bar chord to the A bar chord. The C bar chord to the B sharp bar chord. This is the pattern. Right? back to the main part, which is, and then it goes in the solo, and uh, first, uh, what you basically do is, uh, you can do it, you know, you can, you can learn his solo, not, he's doing all kinds of crazy stuff, or you can just do an F sharp pentatonic, it's actually a really cool sound when you do a pentatonic sound. I'll show you what it sounds like if I use my other amp, it's, it's kind of cool. You know, I, I like to, a lot of times I like to improvise on guitar solos because that's kind of that's what kind of makes it fun. But some people like to do the solos exactly the way they do it. But for this, I'm just going to show you how it sounds if you do a pentatonic scale over the over the. Uh,
a lesson. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and all that jazz. Subscribe and all that jazz. I think that's everything. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing else going on. Pretty much that's it. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helps. And enjoy the rest of your day.